and we are back on this channel we talk all things health and wealth call me coach could be or just coach today we are talking health if you think that pumping iron in the gym is the equivalent to good health then i'm about to drop a truth bomb on you and it might change your perspective on health forever let me ask you a question do you think i felt great in this picture if you said yes then you're completely wrong see I followed all the traditional advice about health, fitness, and wellness. I ate a gram of protein for body weight. I lifted heavy weights, did supersets and drop sets till my joints snapped. I took BCAAs, creatine, protein powder, and casein at night. And all it did was it left me with a serious chronic back pain and it made it hard to even stand for long periods of time, even though I was very young. It gave me gut issues, it left me with a bloated gut, it gave me mental struggles like anxiety, depression, I actually was put on, on, on prescription and I was feeling like terrible, moody, every time that I w woke up in the morning. Now sure, I looked good, but what's the point? And the worst part is you might think I was able to do like crazy things because of the way I look, backflips, run 100 miles, like whatever, climb mountains. But I really wasn't athletic at that point. I'd actually lost some of my athleticism at that point. So for a few years, I went to several doctors, specialists, chiropractors, osteopaths, massage therapy, like if you name it, I probably tried it. And here's what I really learned by putting the puzzle pieces together by myself from all of these different, you know, kind of like three blind mice, putting them all together that skyrocketed my energy, resolved my back pain and improved my mental and physical performance, which was the most important to me. You see health, Fitness and wellness can be divided or I divided into three categories. First, let's look at performance, which is like mental sharpness and great physical performance. Then vitality, high energy, longevity, living a disease free life. And obviously the one we talk about the most and you see on Instagram and all over the newspapers and magazines is aesthetics, right? Your ideal physique for your preferred activities and really ultimately being happy with what you see in the mirror. We're gonna come back to that. I had the looks, but I was heavily lacking in my vitality, in my performance, and in other aspects. In fact, it's very rare to find people who have all three of them because it's such a complicated process. It's an internal, external process. Usually you'll see, for example, like pro athletes and CEO who are really high performance, but they, like, they lack vitality and good self image and good body image when they look in the mirror. Or they are burning the candle at both ends and they feel terrible. Then there's also the ones who have great vitality, but are weak performance and they look scrawny. And quite honestly, most people don't wanna look like them. There are also those people that you never want to have on your side in a fight, for example. They're just, they don't look like they can carry a hammer. So if I were to give you one thing, just one thing that would help you improve in all three categories that most of the health community rarely even talks about, it would be to give your whole system a true vacation, not just the body. And I'm not talking about going to go drink in Cancun, but the mind, the body and the spirit, a complete vacation so that it can rewire, reground, repair, revitalize. And it's extremely important that we understand this. Again, I'm not talking about a type of vacation as in drinking in Cancun or sightseeing in Rome or even skiing in the Alps. I'm talking about giving the system time and the resources to recharge, repair, and replenish inside and out. But before I reveal to you how to reset your entire system, give your whole system a vacation, consider these things. On average, we eat about 70 tons of dehydrated foods in our lifetime, which can produce a lot of cellular waste and lead to many diseases. We're constantly moving, we're constantly under stress, and you don't need a PhD to know what I'm talking about. That stress is terrible for the body especially if you're not resilient to it or haven't built or are able to manage it. We eat about a credit card's worth of microplastics a week or so. And then we follow traditional advice and try to become healthy by 
beating ourselves up in a dark room that we call uh, a gym. If this is the modern environment that people live in, then it's almost impossible to improve your health at all, and which it is. And that's how we have to learn how to make our body more resilient. And that starts with learning how to give our system the proper vacation to reset recharge and replenish personally i try to do this pretty regularly to maintain great health and i've documented a very simple process inside the gut right handbook and i'll be more than happy to give you for free remember true well-being does not come from a fluorescent gym it begins by giving your mind your body and your spirit the true vacation that they deserve